Hello everyone, this is Stevio, and you can see it is back, baby! FS22 is here, and you can tell they're gonna focus hard on seasons. Finally, coming in the fall, it's back, baby! Yeah! All right, we waited three years. What do we got to show for it? Here's some still photos from the website. So you could see four seasons here. We got spring, summer, fall, winter. What really makes me excited, if you key in on the fall portion there, that is an American style barn, if I have to say so myself. You see a silo, you see a grain bin in the background. If you look over to the side of it, you see a large red building possibly. And over to the side, I'm not for sure that might be a cattle yard or a cattle station there. This looks like one of the end game maps it's going to be American. I like how large the farmyard is and how close it seems like the fields are from this photo alone. So here's a photo of the cattle yard. You can see a large dairy barn in the back. It appears to be European. You see a mixture of multiple breeds of cattle. We got some new breeds as you can see over here. Some type of Jersey uh, gray and white Jersey cattle here. We possibly might have another breed here. You can see one laying down and over to the side there. They appear like brown in color. They might be another new breed we might have. What makes me the most excited about this photo is the grass. If you could see, we could obviously see some dirt by the cattle hoofs here. Uh, this might be dynamic dirt. I might be pushing the envelope there, but that does excite me just a little. This photo is full of goodies. That John Deere sure looks U.S. to me. Finally, the herder please. Them duels look like U.S. duels. That hitch, the hazard sign, all good signs. At least, maybe we'll be able to change it into a U.S. version, European, or on. The stubble down there, you can see, is a lot more rich, a lot more realistic, cultivated ground. They took some ideas off the Medicine Creek map and it's not just black dirt. There's a lot of organic manner, just like in real life. That stubble looks very thick, more realistic. The only scary part about this photo, I was hoping for some more soil dynamic, or dirt dynamic. The tires just aren't going far enough into the ground. In the background, you can probably see a bin set there. Uh, that road is a little scary just because from this angle, it does look pretty narrow. Hopefully, it's a wider road, uh, but it looks very beautiful. You can flowers, trees. Obviously, we are in the fall season here. I think the Medicine Creek map is perfect for the FS-22. I'm hoping they make a map like this in game. Latest news. Once again, a family friendly game series takes leaps forward. With features and improvements from Farming Simulator 22 will allow every aspiring farmer to creatively build their own farm no matter the age or life passion. It will come to all platforms. PS5, PS4, Xbox XS, Xbox One, and of course, PC, Mac. New crops, new maps, new machines, new brands are just the beginning of what players can expect. And on top of all that, it gets snowy too. FS22 will offer more depth thanks to the variety of new additions, therefore the highest extent of player freedom in the history of the series. Two new maps plus an updated Alpine map will be emphasis on different kinds of farming operations through the seasons. With a set of more than 400 machines, tools, and 100 authentic agricultural brands, including new categories, players will look forward to improving their realistic as ever simulation. Based on Giants Engine 9, Farming Simulator 22 features many technical improvements such as a realistic AI behavior, richer worlds, thanks to those worlds, the players will be drawn even deeper into the virtual farming style. For example, motor sounds and their tractor appears even more realistic with aesthetic gear selection. The newest farming simulator will receive a performance boost 
on all systems. So the key there is performance boost on all systems. I was a little bit worried, being that they were going to make this for PS4, that they weren't going to put a new engine, game engine in. But I believe, I might be wrong, you'll have to correct me if I am, Engine 9, Giants Engine 9 will be a new game engine. That means better graphics, better features. The game could be that much better for all of us, including the new consoles and the PCs. Catch up to the other PC games out there. The graphics, realization. I also read that they're going to make more features, better mods. 400 machines and tools is a hundred more than FS19. A hundred authentic agricultural brands. I'm hoping that each one it can be customized to the region where you live and you farm to make it that much more realistic. So like normal, Giants will leave these little teasers, little bits of info, just to build our desire for this game. FS22 should be a game changer. We waited three years for this. So what do we have to have in FS22? I would love to see dynamic dirt. I would love to see more dirt like you see right here uh, build up from the implements. I like to see hydraulic back force. When you hear a hydraulic motor whine or a pump whine, I would like to see American style implements tractors in-game tractors that you can build to u.s versions european versions i would like to see old school old school pickups old school tractors farming simulator you usually start out with an old school case tractor how about this year if we get an old school 4020 open station I mean, what's more nostalgic than that? Or a 4440? Something small, something where we could build our farm around just like we would if we were starting up from scratch. I would like to see more placeables, more buildings, uh, more ground dynamics so you can build a farm, more paintable features, like you'd be able to paint bushes, paint weeds, paint a uh, brush like you see over here to the side. More echo products like this Gleaner. I can't say how nostalgic this Gleaner is for my memories on the farm. Another crop that would be nice in this game, I remember always having to knife pinto beans before you harvest them and then you had to have a pickup head and you just picked them up after they were dry. It would also be nice I guess for a canola if you could uh, swath it, put it into a roll, pick it up with the harvester later on just like they normally do in real life. To have in-game alfalfa would also be nice. To have to dry it, maybe even bale it in the early morning when there is dew. Uh, more natural disasters. Now that we have seasons, how about a tornado that rips out our crops? How about a hailstorm that destroys our crops? Or now that we have precision farming, put more realistic features into precision farming. Uh, the amount of rainfall, the amount of sun you have, the temperature throughout the season would affect your yield. So you have to make strategy decisions to get the best product out of your field with the lowest amount of cost up front. You're able to buy new and used equipment in game with that buying used equipment, have it more likely to break down. When it breaks down, we have to put stuff in, like you have to buy a fuel filter, an oil, an oil filter, maybe a tire blows out and you need a special vehicle to put it on. All that would bring more realistic in-game. Of course, all this stuff you can just shut off for the people that just want to play and enjoy a relaxing game. But some of us need a little bit more challenging, a little bit more strategy in-game to build this game more realistic and feel like we are back on the farm. Don't just have field triggers in trucks and wagons and all that stuff. Let us be able to overfill a truck bed or a semi truck and accidentally run grain over the side when we're not paying attention to the auger. 
uh, possibly drop grain when we are dumping at the silos and the bin sets and all that. Be able to harvest your corn, your wheat, your soybeans early because you see a storm coming up, but have a drying bill because of it would also be nice. All of this might be pipe dreams, and I might just be wishing for a more strategy type game, but a lot of this, we already see the farming simulators, giants coming out with mods like precision farming, all this stuff to help build the realist aspect of this game. So why not just keep at it? Another thing, I think we're all tired of the lizard brand. Yes, they make some good vehicles, but we need a good name brand. Go out there, get a Ford, get Chevy name brand, whatever it takes. We want to drive around a Ford or a GMC. At least get one brand for us so we can feel like we can have an old school Ford F100 or even an old school Chevy C10 out there. I know all of us PC players, we already have that right now, but I would like to see it in-game, and of course I want to see that for all the console players out there. With that, get a semi-truck name brand out there. The Peterbilts, the Kenworth, the Freight Shakers. There's a ton of passionate semi-drivers, long road drivers, that they cannot stand driving a lizard in-game or at least for the first couple months of playing with this game. Please, Giants, at least get one brand for us. FS19 introduced us to having a dog on the farm. With that, let's have new breeds. Let's have a more interactive dog, even a dog that might follow us around all day long if we are around the farm. As in driving around the tractor, they just run around. Maybe they get sidetracked because the birds fly up. I know that's a lot of scripting, and that might be too much, but we do have a new game engine. Let's not set our limb, our sights low. I know I want a lot out of this game, and it might be too much to be asking for. I probably missed a hundred different good ideas for this game. I'm hoping maybe if we cross our fingers maybe somebody in Giants might see this video and might get some ideas of what to do, what to build into this game. Giants has made all the right moves so far coming to the U.S. The sky's the limit and it's going to be really, really hard to beat FS19. It made huge stride in the gaming community. But thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in FS22. Later, y'all. And how about an in-game cop car? Or maybe cops that give us fines for speeding or driving a too big of an implement on the roads without hazards or not using our blinkers. All of that would be more exciting. If I miss something, leave it down in the comments. I love reading all your guys' comments. And don't forget, like the video. Thank you all.